Hey guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on Luke's Mini. Now this is going to be part one. Um, in the previous video, I went and collected the Mini and brought it down here. So um, I'm now going to sort of, sort of dig into it a little bit more deeper and try and work out what's going on with it. Now he's given me a list of a number of jobs he wants me to do um, and I've written them on a whiteboard behind the camera so I've got a clutch, brakes, exhaust, speedo, oil leak, dashboard and a few other bits and pieces as well that may pop up. Um, yesterday I got the car back outside. I cleaned off all the engine, all the sort of excess oil, etc., from the engine bay. Uh, left it running for I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. It got up to temperature. Um, everything was working as it should, which is fantastic, uh, even after I pressure washed it. Um, I've got it back into the garage. I've jacked it up into the air. And um, I'm hoping to see first point is oil leaks. So looking under the car, um, well, there isn't any, so um, <laughs> I don't quite know what's happened there. So uh, when, I, when I picked the car up, in Luke's garage there was a number of splodges on the floor where he'd taken the car out, brought it back, parked it in a slightly different place, another, another drop. Um, but yeah, I can't see anything. I've checked there's oil in the uh, block. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to keep just leaving it, keep monitoring it and see if I can see anything coming uh, but I got the engine oil nice and hot, nice and up to temperature, uh, thinking it would make it nice and thin and it would leak out, but but nothing. So I need to uh, look into that a bit further. So on the list of jobs, uh, what I wanted to do today was just look to investigate what's what. Because um, what I don't want to do is replace anything that doesn't need replacing. And um, I, what I, don't, I also don't want to sort of rip him off. I don't want to say you need this, this and this if it's not necessary. So, um, of the list of jobs I've got to do, there's some of them that I can do straight away, there's some of them that I can investigate, order parts up, and there's some of them that I can um, actually not do until I've done something else. So, I need to do a clutch. I don't fully know what's happening with the clutch setup. Um, having spoken to Luke and Tooney, uh, they've both said the clutch is slipping. But... 
Is it slipping under load? Is it slipping all the time? I, I don't know. It could be a adjustment issue. It could be a worn parts issue. I don't really know the the history with this this engine. Uh, it could be a fact of you know th there's an oil leak in there. There's something something not quite right. Um, but I can't drive it to find out because the brakes on the car don't work. So first of all, before I can even look into the clutch, I'm going to have to look at the brakes. I took a look yesterday, and um, up here, the reservoir has got fluid in it. It's pretty dirty. It's pretty disgusting, really. Uh, but there is uh, there's not enough, but there is there is fluid in there, which has suggested it is sort of maybe leaking from somewhere. So what I need to do today is to pressurize the system. So fill up the reservoir, pressurize the brake system, and then look around the car underneath. Um, checking brake pipes, checking fittings, making sure that everything is correct, everything's tight. What I don't want to do is um, fill it up, bleed it out, it's fine. Uh, get a good pedal, take it back, and or take it on a road test and the brakes fail because he said it was working absolutely fine. It went to the body shop, it was painted, it came back and the the pedal was really, well, nothing there. It goes down, springs back up with a spring, but there's just no pressure whatsoever. So something's not quite right. I need to look into that. So the brakes are the first thing I need to, need to check out. Um, then obviously once the brakes are working, even if they're working temporarily and there is like maybe a leak somewhere, I can quickly take it up and down the road uh, or even just using the lane and uh, check out what's happening with the clutch. I don't want to do it now because if I start moving and put my foot on the brake, I'm not quite sure if it's going to stop or not. So uh, I was using the handbrake to get it in and out of the garage and off the trailer. Um, it was a little bit of a daunting situation. Uh, other things to do in the engine bay. Uh, one thing that I look, Luke doesn't know. Now these videos are going to be going out once Luke's received the car back. This is a little bit of a lockdown project. Uh, where I am now, we're in lockdown, so I've got all the time in the world to, to sort it. Um, but what Luke doesn't know is I'm going to tidy this engine bay up. So I've pressure washed it far too much <laughs> to take off more paint than you know than was on there before i mean if he came to look at it now he'd probably be pretty annoyed because the the block is um well it's it's yeah it's it's pretty bare so the the blue paint on it now they look like they covered the the dashboard with a similar color blue now when i did the bmw brakes i did them in this sort of color it's a jazz blue um finish and I really really liked it. I have some jazz blue and I also have some Halfords caliper paint which I've used for um, engine blocks in the past which turns out really nice. I don't know which one I should do just yet. I need to try and look at how much paint I've got of each. The Halford stuff is a lot more readily available, a little bit cheaper. The BMW jazz blue paint looks phenomenal. I just don't know how far it's going to go on a block. Um, so that's that's something I'm going to do in the engine bay. What I really want is when Luke comes to collect the car, I want the wow factor. I want to sort of say, yeah, your brakes are done, your clutch is done, the new exhaust is fitted. You have a look? And he lifts the bonnet up and, you know, he's just blown away. So uh, the element of surprise is quite key. I have sent him a few pictures of things that have happened um, yesterday. I posted a few things on Instagram of, of various bits and pieces. And if you'd noticed, Everything is in black and white, <laughs> so um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to say the least. If I can keep it like this, fantastic. What I don't want to happen is, you know, the lockdown rules are lifted and he comes over for a a, a day out and um, he he sees it as it is, because that's going to be the plan ruined. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of the engine bay in a nutshell: clutch, brakes, and engine painting. Um, I need to move around the car, but it's uh, pretty dark down there. Um, so the the wheels need to come off to check the brakes. Really, I'm going to take the the rear ones off. I'm just going to inspect the fronts from the underneath with the wheels on. Um, that is that is priority number one. Uh, the other jobs, uh, actually, while I'm in the engine bay, speedo cable. Um, the speedo wasn't working. The reason is this cable wasn't connected. He has an old style centre clock uh, in front of the steering wheel, which this isn't really compatible with because it's a screw type thread. So as long as that is turning, the drive underneath is spot on. I just need to get a new 
uh, cable, which is screw fit in both ends. And that's that. The dashboard is a bit tatty. But let's see if I can uh, show you around here. So using these horrible lights I purchased, um, yeah, they're not great. Um, you can see the top dash rail, the, the stuff's all peeling off. Now I don't know whether um, I need to remove all of this old sort of leverette stuff to put the new cover on, or if I can maybe put some tape over it to sort of seal it off. Maybe a bit, a bit of filler, put tape over that to seal that off as well. Cover the stuff over the top of this and put the, the top dash rail back in. I don't know if that's the, the best way to do it. I've never done this before. I've just been given a a length of um, material that's pre-cut to, to, to suit. Uh, looking at the dashboard, comes up with one screw here, one screw over there. This dashboard comes out. I need to obviously add the speedo cable. But the dashboard itself is, is it's snapped. It's kind of snapped in half over here. It's quite poorly fitted. So when it comes out, I need to try and work out how to fit it as best as possible. Um, because obviously I don't want the car to go back to Luke and it starts rattling and banging and all sorts. Um, unfortunately, while I'm inside the car, whilst this has been worked on previously, someone has kindly jacked up on the floor, both the driver's side and the passenger side. Yesterday I managed to straighten out the passenger side. That's all nice now and sort of the contours are correct to the car. The driver's side, unfortunately, as I try to push it down, it's created a, a, a hole. Water sat in the groove and uh, yeah, it's rusted through. So I need to order a front floor panel and potentially a inner flitch panel, which I can then cut the spot section out and weld in. So it's gonna be a new panel across the bottom and across the floor to make it all nice and watertight and sealed again. On the topic of welding, I go around the back, not that I can uh, see very well, open the door. Oh. Miserable weather, oh, that's better. Let's go on the other side. Okay, so coming down the, uh, the passenger side, rear quarter panel, so nice and clean, apart from in the wheel arch, there's a big section of metal missing from the inner wheel arch to the rear quarter. So it's just kind of exposed into the uh, into the car so while i've got the welder out i'm gonna weld across this join it's not gonna be the best of, of finishes unfortunately but it's just gonna seal it all up i don't really want to put too much heat into this panel because then it will start distorting the paint and you know it's just been freshly painted and i don't want to ruin it so um yeah a bit of weld done there seam sealer and that will uh be good as new uh the exhaust this is the old exhaust which it's got quite a nice little nose to it got a little cover on it to make it look a bit bigger and someone's also cut out the rear balance to make it fit a bit nicer as well um, there is a big bore with a roll tip which is in the back of the insignia so that's going to get fit into there I just need to try and work out what to do with the centre pipe uh, and what else what else what else what else look at this board clutch brakes exhaust speedo oil leak dashboard welding and anything else so yeah i've covered everything else so so basically in a nutshell i have my work cut out here i've got a lot to get doing and uh i've got full-time job and family so trying to get time in the garage as well it's been pretty difficult but we're gonna get it done because luke is a bloody good mate of mine and i just want to make sure that everything is spot on for him so i'm gonna stop waffling on Thank you for watching this video. This is just going to be an overview of what's, what's to come. Each video I'm going to try and go in a bit more detail about what I'm doing, what I'm checking, why I'm checking it, how I'm checking it. And um, hopefully that's going to be beneficial for people, viewers, etc. And uh, let's get this car back on the road. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the content, please hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. And if you can, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And also check out Luke's Instagram at copcut2011. And uh, he's got loads of pictures of this car and his little amazing dog Zeus. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.